Good morning. It is December 19th, 2020. <clears throat> this is the year I discovered the power to heal through Jesus Christ. I am recording this for posterity and also for the benefit of others who may benefit from this and if anybody's out there that can translate this without being sarcastic uh, I put this out here in that method in, in that hope also that somebody may know what this language is so I was learning from uh, Andrew Womack from Andrew Womack Ministries and Karis Bible College I was watching his uh, YouTube videos and I learned that it's okay and actually desired and beneficial to speak in tongues. I learned that it's going to sound crazy at first. It's going to sound like gibberish you're making up. You won't know, am I making this up? And that's how it works. <clears throat> Apparently, you just let spirit take the wheel, essentially, and then you start speaking this language. So the way that it's been occurring for me. I've actually been speaking in tongues for many years, but it's been when I was in extreme, extreme stress. Like when I get out of a really hot bathtub and I almost faint. Or this morning when it was freezing cold outside and I, I went outside barefooted, uh, you know, in 33 degree, 33, degree, 33 degree weather here in the south. Uh, that's a degree above freezing and everything was frozen <laughs> and when I came back inside and my feet started to thaw I just started speaking in tongues so here's my understanding spirit knows what you're saying and it doesn't matter that you don't know what you're saying but there's different people that argue within the body of Christ over what it means to need to have an interpreter, whatever. Some people believe that you need to have an interpreter right there with you, otherwise it's not a valid, uh, it's not valid, a valid tongue or something. Others say that, and I'm of more of this camp, others say that the Holy Spirit is the translator, is the interpreter. You just do the speaking and then you ask God, well, what does that mean? And then the Holy Spirit will communicate God's message to you. So, without further ado, I will turn the blower fan on the heater down a little bit. And here we go with some speaking in tongues. Okay. Father, help me to do this so that I am in the right uh, alignment with your word. Amen. Oh, that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. That's what Jesus and the Holy Spirit and we love you we love you father we worship you we give you all praise we thank you for everything good in our life Jesus, <laughs> 
We pray for the country. We pray for our president, Donald J. Trump. We pray for the people, the patriots, the prophets that are out there holding the ground, standing in the in the gap, standing in the gap for you, Lord, standing for your word, declaring your word, declaring that it will be as you declared as, on earth as in heaven. Our Father, Abba Father, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. In Jesus' name, amen. So hopefully that shows you a little bit of what my experience of speaking in tongues is like. And have a blessed day. Amen.